My time at Phyllis State was an absolutely wonderful experience. Of course, coming in your freshman year, you're always nervous. You left home, and all of a sudden now you're at this place where it's your own community. And it was just wonderful. The experience is an experience every child in America should experience attending not just college, but an HBCU. Well, I remember 1966, we didn't have career counselors in high school, so our assistant principal, I believe, was the one that we went to for a consult on school, and he had these posters on the board, so I kind of like say I threw a dart at the thing to find out what college I would select. We'll see uh, Norfolk State from my home area, Norfolk State, Virginia State, Virginia Union might have been the choices, but because the dart hit Fayetteville State, and I, when I uh, applied, I was accepted. That was where I decided to come. And I wanted to leave home. I wanted to go somewhere different from where my friends went that were home. Even in times of what I didn't really know how my mother managed to pay for it. You know, you had to throw God in there because she was working and in what they call in service, but working as a housekeeper for folks. So I know she wasn't making a whole lot of money. But anyway, she paid my tuition, and I got to spend my money. During my downtime at Fayetteville State, um, the good thing about being at Fayetteville State oh. is that, first of all, we had the Divine Nine here, but it, we also had social fellowships on the campus, so which bonded us at the university. So our downtime, we were constantly in fellowship with each other or finding out what organization was, what organization was doing this, we hung out with each other, we had conversation with each other, we all knew each other, we were actually a strong family bond. So um, in the downtime, for instance, if you needed some help, extra help, we always found someone that, that could help each other that was more experienced in maybe mathematics, you could search this person out, I need you to help me to do this or whatever, uh, getting involved with Student Government Association. It was just so much going on, but the total key that my recall is with the social fellowship aspect of it, organization, family pulling together. If something was going on on campus, we all knew about it, and so we could all participate in it. Like I said, whether it was the Divine Nine or social fellowship, which you all don't have on campus presently, which I believe personally impacts the community here in that you all, I don't think your group is as strong as our group was as far as being a strong family. I basically, and I can remember lots of things. I was just telling a lady earlier that I had this dress that my mother made me. It was, uh, had a lot of colors in it, and, and um, Alfred White, I think it was Alfred White, called my dress the robe of many colors. And, and, I, and I always think about him. When I think about him, I think about that, that dress. But uh, yes, I made, I made friends easily. Maybe I should say a process of elimination. When I looked at the, uh, the advertisement and I saw biology, I'm a biology <laughs> student, you know, and math, uh, I'm a math student. So I chose elementary education. I thought I could achieve that. And so with that, that, that became my primary major and I stuck with it. Had a difficult time deciding what I would do as a minor and um, that became music. Uh, yeah, we won't talk about that either. <laughs> but, but, but anyway, I, I became an elementary school, uh, elementary education major. Well, you know, when I, like I said, when I first came to Fayetteville State, you know, you're always nervous, but because it was a family here, you had the upperclassmen looking out for the freshman class, and then as you got older, then you did the same thing. So. Uh, the guys on campus always looked out for us, the football players looked out for us, and as a physical education major, you had the great connect. It was family, we just all looked out for each other. And it just made such a wonderful experience at Fayetteville State. I was, I was a well-rounded student. Uh, I believe that when you're in a university on any campus, 
not only should you be you want to excel academically, but you also need to be social. So, like I, I would have to go back and say that at Fayetteville State University, we were a family. So we socialized. We we got to know each other, uh, and as a result, my being social led to my being uh, elected as Phil Miss Fayetteville State University and Miss Homecoming. So it all added up. Really, I, I probably didn't call myself having a lot of downtime because when I came, my father had just become ill and my and the experience, remember this was 1966, so when my mother went to the bank to get borrow some money, the banker told her that he wouldn't lend her money to send a girl to college. So my mother was a uh, housekeeper, so I kind of made myself get a job I worked in Cook Dining Hall. My friends and I worked in Cook Dining Hall. And and so that's how I made, you know, money to help support the cause. Well, at the time I left home, my dad was sick. He had just had a stroke, so he was ill. And my mother was very pleased and proud that I chose college. And she supported me in every way that she could. In fact, one of the things that I thought was very generous of her was she used to send me blank checks to pay for my school. And I kind of said, you know, why not should I abuse But her? she thought uh, a lot of it. Now, Daddy, on the other side, coming from his tradition, he was like, uh, he wasn't going to educate a girl to go to college. Well, I was kind of upset with Dad about that, but, but then he, he died, so I didn't have to. I didn't have to tell. It's all right because he, he lived a good life. It, um, he, I didn't have to get upset with him, but I did tell myself that my dad had lived. I would have gotten on him about that, but about saying those kinds of things. But they appreciate. I think that I would. I could have changed his mind. So it was. It was just the. It was just the best experience in the world in terms of me being able to assimilate into another culture and move out to become productive. Taxpayer. Because <laughs> growing up, I was always an athlete, playing softball and just active. So I knew I wanted to be a physical education major. And coming into Fayetteville State, the upper class would always told you, "Think about. You need to declare your major. You need to declare your major." So that was a focus. I knew I need because I came in. Uh, I'm the class of '73, but I came in of, uh, in '74. So I was determined I needed to catch up so I could graduate on time with my class in 77. So I was a physical education major and the fact that I'm athletic, it was absolutely what I wanted to do. What parent wouldn't want their child to attend a university? Um, my parents, were all, uh, my father was a sharecropper. My mom uh, worked with the Department of Social Services. So you know they always wanted the best for their children. So going to college, my sister, went to college, my older brother went to college, so then I was in line, it was like, it's something you just had to do.